Hey guys, welcome back to Undertale, where today we're just going to do something, a really short episode, we're just going to finish the tutorial kind of thing. Do you smell that? Surprise! It is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Aww. Is something burning? Hmm. Make yourself at home. I think the pie is burning. Look at everything. You have seen this type of plant before, but you do not know its name. Inside the jar are flower seeds of s and some broken crayon. Room under renovation. It's you! Cactus, truly the most synthetic <laughs> of plants. <laughs> you peek inside. Scandalous! It's Toriel's sock drawer! <laughs> it's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods. Known more commonly as water sausages. <laughs> Just a regular old bucket of snails. This tutorial's diary. Read the circled passage. Nah, let's not peek. Look at all these school toys. They don't interest you at all. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. Ah, oh, the music changes. It's so cute. Let's go to bed. Let's take a nap. Ooh. Pie. Um, I'm a little bit worried about the items we have to heal up. I thought I, I used a cider, but I guess we didn't. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 2000. Who knows? <laughs> it's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind a barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated far, far into the earth. We walked until we reached the cavern's end. This war, uh, this was our new home, which we named. Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. <laughs> the end of the tools have been filed, filed down to make them safer. <laughs> there is some white fur stuck in the drain. Ew. For some reason, there is a brand name chocolate in the fridge. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. Oh, but I wanted more pieces. Oh, 
Up already? Uh, up already, I see. Mm -hmm. I want you to know how glad I am to have you, to have someone here. Oh, I can't read today. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to... <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's what I do at work too. I just read books. <laughs> I want to show you my favorite book, Hunting Spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What? This, this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I am reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Sure. Here is an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. Bother, bother me if you need anything else. What is it? How to exit the ruins? I have to do something. Stay here. And... Monster mom left. Come on, mommy. Let me go. You're not my real mom. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the hand of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Uh, nope. I want to go home to my real parents. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive, naive child. If you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you, do you not understand? Go to your room. But mommy! Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Mommy! Let me go! You want to leave so badly. <laughs> you are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Uh -huh. And I'm probably gonna die in this one, you know. so bad at this. I'm not gonna survive this. Seriously. Ah! Whew. What are you doing? Ah! 
Ariel looks through you. What are you proving this time? Oh. Fight me or leave. Ah! Ariel is acting aloof. Stop it. Ah! That hurt. Stop looking at me that way. Ah! Can we make it go away? Ow! Sorry, Alex, for you. I need to take an item, though. I hate using it, but... Ah! Bad choice, bad choice. Ah. Seriously? Okay. I know you want to go home, but... That, that, that. Scare. But please. Go upstairs now. No. I promise I will take good care of you. No. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Let me go. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Haha. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I would, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Thirty minutes into a game, or a little more, if you like buy everything. And it's so touching. It's so sad. And then there's this. <laughs> I've only seen up to here. Cause I want, like, I I heard the name of the game, but I wouldn't have bought it if I didn't see anything about the game. So, ah, uh, no, not this one. Clever. Very clever. You think you'll, you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single you... Uh, of a, uh, sorry? You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really, really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. Well, I kind of killed the dummy. I guess it doesn't count. But what will you do if, if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it. 
I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. Creepy. <laughs> this flower is so creepy. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, really, really creepy. All right, that's going to be it for today because I've seen up to here. Actually, let's look for our safe points. <laughs> I don't want to have to do all of this again. Undertale! Alright, so we finished the prologue. By Toby Fox. Toby, Toby. Toby, most likely. <sighs> and we now have a really creepy forest. Alright, um, we will leave at the first save point. And I'm assuming we have a little bit of story before. Ah! The French broke behind us. Ooh, that's so creepy. Creepy. So creepy. Oh no. No. Yeep. Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. was more for a funny than it should have been. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion is in the hand trick. <laughs> it's always funny. Anyway, you're human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know. I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now, my brother, Papyrus, Papyrus, is a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this dead gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. <laughs> Quick! Behind that convenient, conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> Cute. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's real cool. Do you want to look? No! I don't have time to, for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then, I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the royal guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bait in a shower of kisses every morning. Um, maybe the slim will help you. Sans! You are not really helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boo bong eh? Boondoogle. You get lazier and lazier every day! Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. <laughs> Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it. Sigh. Why does someone as great as me 
I have to do so much just to get some recognition. Wow. Sounds like you're working real... You're really working yourself. Down to the bone. <laughs> yeah. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> Okay, you can come out now. <laughs> and they're funny. <laughs> hey. You had to get going. You might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. What's the hold up? Look, there is nothing to be afraid of. Just a dark cavern filled with skeletons and horrible monsters. Um, right. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> There's like two balls of snow, I'm assuming. It's some sort of chat point or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish in sitting inside. Okay. Actually, hey. Hey to bother ya. Bother ya. But can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be ahead. And he goes back. Oh, safe point! The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Save! Alright, so let's finish this one here for today. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!